So tonight I'm gonna to make from the little speedy cookbook turkey meatloaf. Oh turkey. Turkey meatloaf with cheesy rice cauliflower. And I'm gonna make it in the ninja speedy. And normally when I make a meatloaf, like probably a lot of everyone else, use a bread pan. Now I kinda of like this particular bread pan because it has this insert which makes it really easy to lift the meatloaf out. And because it's perforated at the bottom, I can use a really high fat content kind of meat, uh, hamburger or sausage, and all the grease would just drip away so I don't have all that grease in my food. Uh, but this one is going to be made in the Ninja Speedy. You'll make the loaves, put them on the top rack, and then the rice casserole, rice casserole? Rice cauliflower with cheese and butter is going to be at the bottom. And because it's going to be turkey, there won't be a whole lot of grease that's going to really drip away from it. So it should be pretty healthy meatloaf. I don't know. Um, but we're going to give it a try from the cookbook. I've had meatloaf, of course, plenty of times. I've made meatloaf all different ways. I don't think I've ever made meatloaf with turkey before. So you got typical the meat, an egg, onion, breadcrumbs, tomato, uh, ketchup, cheese. We'll go into this. And then on the bottom is rice cauliflower. Spinach, butter, and more cheese. And of course we got salt and pepper and some uh, garlic powder. So let's throw all this together and see what we got. Oh, and my battery's fully charged. And it's nighttime. So the entire amount of cooking that comes out of the battery, well, plus these puck lights, these use probably half an amp each. So all my power is gonna be coming out of the battery through the inverter to power the Ninja Speedy. This looks a little light on breadcrumbs for me, so I'm going to add some more breadcrumbs. So the recipe calls to make six little loaves and then cover with tomato or with ketchup. Let's make some loaves. My personal preference is to try to reduce my high fructose corn syrup. A lot of ketchup has it, this one does not. I just realized I was supposed to put cheese in this as well. Not just the bottom, but the, the meatloaf is supposed to have cheese. So I guess I'll sprinkle that on towards the end. As long as I don't burn the cheese. Yeah. So just stopped and I can see from here that my battery, I use about 8% of my battery. That's a 400 amp hour battery system. So I use about 32 amps, probably about 2 amps in the lights. So about 30 amps to cook this. Since I forgot to add the cheese <coughs> to the meatloaf itself, I mean I put cheese downstairs, downstairs, not the lower portion. I put uh, cheese into the rice cauliflower, but I didn't put any cheese into high jazz. She knows I'm messing with cheese. <clears throat> I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese on top of the meatloaf and then close the lid and let it just melt the cheese that way. Go ahead and melt the cheese. Come back in about a minute. I'm used to adding other things to my meatloaf. This actually said to add cheese to the meatloaf when I was mixing it, but I forgot to do that because I'm not used to making meatloaf that way. Um, I generally add like bell peppers. Um, I've also added in the past rice. That works pretty good as a binding agent. Use some old rice I had from leftover cooking something else. This 
This is the rice cauliflower with spinach and cheese and butter. Not too bad. Let's see what it tastes like now. So there we go. Let's try a little of this rice cauliflower first. It's cauliflower. So it needs a need some salt and pepper. I put some in, but it needs more. Now the recipe called for yellow onion. I didn't have yellow onion, I had red onion. Not too bad. Never had turkey as a meatloaf. So, me personally, I would have added jalapeno flavored ketchup to the meatloaf mixture while I was mixing it. Then I would have put some more jalapeno ketchup on top. Never tried cheese in it though. I forgot to do it this time as well. That's a pretty good meal. So I got a question for you guys. Put in the comments, what do you add to your meatloaf? I know that some people do like hamburger sausage combo mix and I've done that too. That works out pretty good. I think I've added mushrooms. I've added mushroom once to a meatloaf, to the mixture. All right, now for this. I'll watch some TV tonight. <clears throat> Recharge the battery. Because I'm on full hookups. I'll catch you guys later on the next one. Oh, the next one will be. You ready for this? Where's my list? Oh, there it is. So the Ninja Speedy came with this little dish, right? Sam's Club. I've been seeing this for a couple of years. Big box of brownie mix. So inside here are four of these bags of brownie mix. So. My next one is going to be making brownies with the Ninja Speedy. I've already read the instructions. It's going to add water to the bottom of it. Then you put this on top of the, the divider tray and your mixture in here. So it's going to be like a steam cooking method. So that should really. So that should make a pretty soft and moist brownie. So that's going to be my next one. See you around.